Wetland Engine, Natural Power as a Green Operator. The project connects and transforms the south shoreline of the Middle Branch by first utilizing in situ material to create wetland to capture carbon, mitigate flooding, and enhance critical areas. Second, establishing a new development corridor and improved trail system that provide job opportunities and waterfront access for the communities of Brooklyn and Curtis Bay. Here is the general framework of the studio. You can see my site is located in the south ending of the whole system. Here is a plate with abundant natural resources like Podesto River and Masonville Cove. The site is also adjacent to the Brooklyn community. The most important environmental asset here is the Podesco River. It has a forest corridor with all kinds of birds and mammals. Masonville Cove is the nation's first urban wildlife refuge, which provides rich education experience with thousands of visitors. Also, Masonville Cove dredging material contamination facility is used to store dredging material from a canal and will become a marine termination in the future. The Vulcan Concrete Factory is a stone yard in the waterfront area. The factory could give us the concrete as a raw material. For the challenge, the first issue is the water quality. We can easily see trash and water pollution along the middle branch. Challenge 2 is the high unemployment rate in the Brooklyn community. The last one is the lack of accessibility, especially the access to the waterfront area. So the general strategy for this project is to take advantage of the assets and use wetland engine technology as a catalyst to solve all these issues. For the dredging plan, you can see we have a designated canal in the middle branch the Masonville Cove DMCF will receive this dredging material from the Chesapeake Bay. So after cleaning up the dredging material, we could use it to create wetland along the shoreline, especially in my subside. Then the wetland created by the dredging material will help to offset carbon dioxide, which is aligned with our decarbonization goal. In total, we are able to offset 755 tons of carbon dioxide per year the number is equal to the carbon dioxide emitted by 188 cars. Wetland not only consumes carbon dioxide, but will also provide jobs opportunities with the community members during the construction and management phase. The landscape we build here is also a solution to realize social value. For the first step, the wetland engine technology will help to create wetland as an extension of Patexo River. Trail system facilitates the connection between my project and project done by other teammates. The trail also gets deeper into the community to bring people to the waterfront area. After that, the community development corridor will be established along the trail system. The wetland engine technology has three types of tools. The concrete anchor can help to receive the sediment from the estuary. Concrete retention structure can keep the sediment and dredging material. Bird perch is designed for wild birds, which improve the biodiversity of vegetation types. This part is the demonstration of the wetland formation process.
The camera will bring us to explore the public space inside the Wetton engine. The development corridor starts from the community center of Brooklyn community. The middle part is a green business campus to incubate green companies. The ending point is the job training center and a sport park. So at the end of the video, I also want to introduce how the wetland engine technology can be applied to large scale. There are many judging material placement facility and estuary along the Chesapeake Bay. If we use the technology to create wetland along the bay, we can have more vegetation and greatly improve the decarbonization capacity. <music>